this is Stampy and welcome to a, a brand new let's play on a game called Super Mario Maker. Well I think it's actually just called Mario Maker, I don't know maybe it's called Super Mario Maker. Uh, but yeah, uh, this is a game which allows you to, to make Mario games and uh, this is just the menu and oh, I died. I died in the menu. <laughs> I don't know how many other games you can fail before you've even pressed play yet. Uh, but yeah, so you are allowed to make whatever Mario levels uh, you want. Uh, so let's uh, press create and uh, and get started then, shall we? There we go. Let's uh, make a, a nicer menu for ourselves. Uh, so as I'm playing this, uh, this is the, the day the game came out. And uh, you start off without very many things unlocked. You can see the, uh, the top of the screen. Uh, these are all of the, uh, the different things I can build out of. Uh, but it did come up with a message saying new items coming soon. So hopefully uh, they might show up uh, during the, uh, the episode. Uh, but yeah, let's get started. So of course, because I'm Stampy Cat, you can see as I build, <laughs> there's a big cat paw coming up. And uh, what I'm going to be doing is I'm actually building a level for Squishy. Okay, I'm going to build her a level and she's going to play through it. And uh, she's at the uh, the same time building me a level. So uh, hopefully she's, uh, she's going to be nice and build a, a pretty level for me. <laughs> uh, but yeah, to start off with, uh, I'm going to be quite nice to, to her. So uh, the plan is, is that uh, we're going to be doing this uh, a few times. And uh, there's a few different styles you can be in. So this is the uh, the old Super Mario style. But you can, oh no, that's not the, the right thing. Uh, you can change the, uh, the background. But I uh, can also change it uh, to look like uh, the styles of different Mario games. And there's a few different ones. I've only got the uh, the two at the uh, the moment. Uh, but yeah, uh, let's start building. So seeing as uh, I don't think she's played Mario a huge amount, and this is going to be her first time playing this game, I'm going to start off quite nice. I'll give her a um, a mushroom to, to start with, and I'm going to start off with a, a few pretty easy safe jumps, and then I'm going to gradually get a little bit harder. But yeah, I'm going to be I'm going to be nice. I want to make a fun level uh, rather uh, than a really hard level. So let's go and do a, a first few jumps here. So if I go and kind of build up like this. Uh, she's going to have to go and jump over here. And it's really easy to build. Oh! A delivery truck has arrived! Uh, that's a bit sooner than we were expecting. Oh, brilliant! Perfect timing! Have I got new things now? What's happening? I can hear a, I can hear a truck arriving. Um, right. New course elements are now available. Would you like to play a sample course? Uh, I'm not going to play the course, but I want to see the uh, the new stuff. Aha! There's a new arrow here. Perfect timing. Right. Looks like we've got a uh, a few new toys that we can uh, play with and we can uh, uh, use them a little bit later on. So I guess, can I just uh, switch between what I have at the top? Right, brilliant. Anyway, let's go and uh, carry on building then. So I'm going to do a few easy jumps and I'm going to make sure they're safe jumps. So I can immediately switch uh, between building and playing. And so I want her to jump, but I don't want her to be able to fail straight away because then I don't think she would like me very much. So <laughs> what I could do is make it so she kind of needs to jump up, uh, but she can't fail. And then uh, how about if I make it so there's a difficult jump here, uh, but if she falls, uh, she'll land on some ground down here and be able to, to try it again. And then eventually, I'm going to make things get a little bit harder and uh, start adding in some enemies. So I can just erase things uh, using my uh, little eraser down here. And uh, yeah, let's go and uh, let's go and open up a little path here uh, so she can uh, fit through there. Oh, actually, she's not going to fit through there unless she's uh, small. So let's go and make that a little bit bigger. And uh, let's just make sure that this jump is actually possible. And there we go. Easy peasy job. Oh, <laughs> but I failed on the, the other side there. Luckily, I just go straight into the uh, the level builder. Uh, right then, let's go and uh, carry on. I guess I need to, to block this off down here. Uh, because otherwise, you could just ignore all of the uh, the jumps and uh, head straight over there. And uh, let's start adding in some, some enemies then, shall we? Let's go and uh, make it a little bit more challenging and uh, add in a, a few enemies for her. So... What you can do is that you can actually stack a bunch of enemies to, together. So I could go and get these little Goombas here and put them all in a, a pile. And then that way she needs to go and uh, just break her way down through them all. So if I kind of do uh, this and then maybe uh, let's do something to block her path here. Let's do a... Um, uh, let's maybe just make it, tell you what, let's make it so she has a choice of going two different routes. So she could go down through these Goombas, or she could carry on heading this way, but there'll be some uh, other challenges. Let's maybe put some piranha plants uh, just uh, around here, uh, which are going to be pretty difficult to, to get over. So that's one path she could do, and then there's uh, another path down below. So if we make the path down below easier, then maybe at the end of this path, uh, we could have a, a reward for her, just in case uh, she is able to, to do this one. So let's put a, uh, a question mark here and we could put a uh, another uh, mushroom in there 
And then we can maybe put a, uh, uh, we could put a stone, no, no, forget the mushroom. Get that mushroom out of there. How do we get the mushroom out? There we go. <laughs> Shake the, uh, the mushroom out. That's cool. And uh, let's put a, um, let's put a star inside of this one here, uh, which will be the, uh, the reward uh, if she goes the, uh, the difficult path. And then, yeah, let's go and build uh, the, uh, the path down here uh, as well then. So, um, what should we do down here? I can make it so there's, um, hmm... Uh, I don't want to do some jumps. Let's try and do some different enemies down here then. I could go and uh, add in one of these things. So these guys, uh, you can't jump on them uh, because they got spiky back. So this will make it uh, difficult for her to, to get over the uh, the areas down here. So maybe if I put a, a few of these uh, in kind of like, not cages, but little areas like this, uh, then she needs to go and try and jump over all of them. And so it'll be slightly difficult, uh, but not as hard uh, as going the uh, the other path. So let's go and put, uh, put one down here as well and then go and fill in a, a little bit more of the ground so this is the uh, the safer route uh, but there's no reward at the uh, the end of the the tunnel if she goes this way <laughs> right then let's go and get a let's try and get a bit more inventive then let's try uh, out some of these other things i could give her a fire flower now and then just let her go crazy and just kill a load of enemies i can make a really scary looking room full of loads of enemies uh, but then actually just give her a fire flower so it's really easy to destroy them all i think i'm gonna do that so uh, let's make it so she can kind of uh, jump up here a bit and you can see just how easily you can fill all of the the ground in so she can go and jump up to, to here and then I'm gonna do a, a big pit uh, full of googlies down here Mario googlies <laughs> uh, that she needs to go and uh, try and get past and oh this is the the end of the level I can though uh, just go and drag it out and uh, make the uh, the level a little bit longer so I'm gonna use these bricks instead uh, just for a, a bit of a, a change and I make it so she needs to go and get through that uh, little ending there uh, but this is gonna be a room just full of everything nasty in Mario <laughs> and then at the the end uh, she needs just to go and uh, jump out like this and because it's raised uh, the enemy shouldn't be able to, to get out so uh, we can go and put in a, a bunch of Goombas like this I actually think I can copy them if I do um uh, this, yeah, I can go and uh, just copy them, I think. There we go, like this. And so we could do uh, some Goombas here. And then in the middle, we can put down some Koopa Troopers, like this. And then let's go and put some Goombas uh, down on the, the other side, like this. And then we need to make a way so she can't get over the top as well. So what uh, could we add down there? Um, oh, these are like moving platforms, I think. Oh, look, yeah, I can set there's arrows, so I can set uh, how they move. I definitely want to go and uh, use one of them in a minute. And oh! Underwater set will be available soon or hopefully she doesn't make an underwater level. They're always the worst <laughs> Right, let's go and make something pretty deadly uh, on the uh, the top here uh, Let's go and put some of these down and if we kind of just cover the the top of them uh, Then yeah, she definitely uh, won't want to go that way. Well, let's make a tiny gap just so if she does want to risk it, uh, she can go the, the top if she wants. And actually, she does have a fire flower, I think. Uh, the fire flower will um, uh, will get rid of them. Can we get rid of this guy? Ooh. Oh, look, I've just made a little cloud. Ooh, let's experiment with this. <laughs> so what I can do is I can just go here and press play, and I can just go and test out this little area. Oh, look, they all drop off the edge. Okay. What does the cloud do? Oh, look, I can fly. I can fly in the cloud. Right, I think I'm going to use the, uh, the cloud uh, a little bit later on. I didn't want these guys to drop off though if I shake them I think that might make it so they don't drop off uh, let's press play and see uh, if a couple of them don't drop off. oh look they yeah they don't move I could just use that uh, just uh, to make uh, a load of spikes so let's just get rid of all of them and then let's go and add them back down uh, but I can just copy and paste one that I've uh, uh, gave a, a little shake and then that way this is just gonna be uh, like a, a whole load of spikes but I think she still might be able to shoot them with the uh, the flyer uh, the fire flower I'm gonna get rid of this uh, cloud as well uh, but I think we're gonna go and use that next I like the uh, the idea of that well actually I got an idea let's make a, a bit of a, a puzzle for her so what we could do is if we add in some of these bricks these bricks uh, can't be destroyed by jumping on them, uh, but if uh, she gets a, a Koopa Trooper to bang into them, uh, they actually get destroyed. So I could uh, try doing that, uh, but I want to make sure uh, that she can get through in case she doesn't do it right. So uh, actually, I think I will use these bricks instead now uh, along the uh, the bottom. Uh, so let's go and give this a go. I also want to make sure that if she does fail, uh, there is a, another way uh, that she can get past. I never want her to be uh, completely stuck. So actually, I don't think I'm going to have them quite here. I'm going to have them uh, around about, uh, if I do this here, 
and then if I go and put this fella down here, so I might put him in a, a question mark block. And so that way she's going to think she's getting a reward, but it's just a baddie. <laughs> and then I can go and put uh, these along here. And I might put loads of them because it's really cool uh, when it gets destroyed. Uh, so I might go and add in a, a bunch of, uh, of these. Uh, I'm going to go and get rid of this like this. Um, it's actually uh, pretty good. Like I've literally only been playing uh, for about five minutes before I've started recording. You can see uh, how easy it is uh, just to, to get the hang of what you're doing and be able to, to build. So uh, we're once again getting close to the end. So I'm going to drag that back there a little bit and go back to here. So the idea is that shell uh, will destroy all the, the ground. So I might actually uh, do another one here uh, with another Cooper Trooper in uh, just in case the, uh, the first one doesn't work. And I want to make it so she can't too easily uh, jump up here. Well, actually, I could make it so she can jump up there, uh, but there's just uh, a bunch of, uh, of enemies uh, which she would uh, have to, to deal with. So uh, let's go and put some of these here. And I'm putting the uh, the red ones down uh, because I believe the, the red ones uh, don't walk off the uh, the edge of the uh, the area. So let's go and uh, put some of these down. I can also put wings on them as well. Did you know that? If I put wings on them, I can have some of them flying around here as well. Just for just for fun, I'll have a, a few flying ones in the, the air as well, just to make it a bit harder. <laughs> right, let's go and uh, test out this area and see if it works. Yeah, so they're not jumping off the edge. But if I bang into this, that should fall down. And I want to try and make it destroy all the, the bricks. There we go. You see, it's going and like breaking its way through the, the bricks like that. I can use that to destroy a path. Uh, so then that way, uh, I'm able to, to get through. Uh, but I would uh, need her to, to be small to be able to get through. So if she still has a, a mushroom, uh, she's going to have to, to get small in order to fit through. Actually... That makes quite a cool puzzle. What I could do is I could give her uh, a mushroom uh, right here. So then that way I know she's going to be big and then she has to hurt herself. Otherwise, she is not uh, going to, to be able to get through. And then if I leave a little gap here, uh, then that means that shell's going to, to drop off and uh, get out of the, the way. I shall make this a little bit of a, a bigger job. I think uh, by this point, I can make uh, things a little bit harder for her. <laughs> and uh, now I think I'm going to add in the, uh, the the cloud that I had from, from earlier. So uh, what I might do is I'll grab the, uh, the cloud and I'm going to put that... Uh, about here. I'm going to shake my little fella out of it uh, so Squishy can get it. But I'm going to make it so she has to jump on one of the uh, the flying Koopa Troopers uh, in order to, to be able to get it. So if I put this guy about here and put wings on him, uh, I think she will need to bounce off him uh, in order to, to get the cloud. If I kind of arrange it a bit like this, uh, there's a chance she might be able to jump straight in the cloud, but I think it would be quite difficult. So let's see if this is a uh, if this is possible and bounce and oh, nearly. I think it's possible. I think I just didn't do it very well though. So let's go and uh, have a, another go if we can. Let's go and run and jump and oh, <laughs> maybe this is a little bit harder than I thought it was. Let's have a another go. Oh look, they gave me uh, some little pink blocks to, to stand on so I didn't die. All right, let's go again and boom. Right, I think I'm gonna make the uh, the cloud slide closer. I think it is possible, uh, but it is quite difficult as well. And tell you what, uh, what I might do is... Um I might make all of this higher and then do uh, some blocks underneath. Uh, so if she does fail, she won't be all the way back to the beginning. Because I don't believe uh, you can do checkpoints. So uh, what I could do is, uh, I didn't mean to do that. Uh, what I meant to do was grab this fella and uh, move him up here. And then I move the, the cloud about there. And then I'm going to add some blocks underneath here. Uh, so if she fails, uh, she can go and uh, have another go. So I can do a little path going like this. And uh, yeah, then that way uh, she's going to, to be able to, to jump back up uh, if she uh, if she fails. So let's uh, let's go and give this a go. This seems to be a little bit nicer now. <laughs> and uh, let's just see. I think you might be able to jump straight in the the cloud. Uh, so now, seeing as she's uh, not going to to die, uh, I might make it a little bit more difficult. I will move the uh, the cloud uh, a little bit further away like this. And uh, let's see if uh, let's see if this was possible. Then I made it a bit hard because uh, she's only jumping from from one block. And then let's go and jump and but oh, I think. I think you might be able to make it uh, straight in the, the cloud. I'm going to make sure I can do it at least once uh, before I hand it over to, to Squishy, uh, just because I want to make sure it's possible and bounce. And oh, the cloud disappeared. Oh no, the clouds don't stay there. Um, okay, let's uh, let's forget the, the cloud idea then. <laughs> Obviously, they don't uh, hang around. Uh, I'll just leave it up here somewhere just in case it does show up. Uh, but yeah, let's instead, uh, let's just go and make some... Um, uh, I could make a big pipe here. Why not? Let's, not, let's, uh, let's make a big pipe and let's put it about here. And uh, I can actually put it down here and then drag it up. 
And uh, I don't know how to make it so you go down a pipe, to be honest. Uh, but let's just make it so there's a, a big pipe there. And I could put a, a piranha plant in it as well. And I think this is just about a good time to, to end the, the level here. So if I bring uh, this back, and uh, there we go. So that way she needs to go jump on the, the pipe. And then if I do one uh, little, well, I do three little platforms here. And then I can make it so she jumps on that, jumps on that, and then jumps to the, the end. Right then, before I uh, hand this over to, to Squashy for her to have a go, uh, let's go and uh, see if I can even complete it myself. And oh, there's a rogue block at the, the top of the screen, and that's annoying me. So let's go and get rid of that. And oh, I accidentally put a spring in as well. <laughs> right, let's go and uh, give this a go. I can't even remember uh, how the, uh, the beginning of the map was. So uh, let's go and uh, see if how well I can remember. Uh, so yeah, I gotta go and do here. These are the, the safe, easy jobs. And oh yeah, I got the choice of two different ways to, to go. Uh, let's go down this way. Let's go and see how this little Goomba pile works. Oh no, I need to die here, don't I? There we go. I can die and then go through here. And then I need to... Oh! <laughs> right, this go. I'm gonna try going along the uh, the top route then. So uh, this way I can keep my mushroom and uh, hopefully also uh, get the uh, the star. So let's go whoop along here like this. And oh no, looks like I fell down anyway, right? Looks like we're doing this way. Oh look, I can jump really high this way. Um, yeah, I can get hurt here. And then now go and uh, try and keep heading this way like this. And then to here and then whoop, just about <laughs> made it over. Right then. Um, Oh, I haven't given myself the fire flower. I'm supposed to have a fire flower here, aren't I? This is why you test your levels. Right, this bit is going to be quite difficult. Um, oh, that was quite good, actually. Check that out. Right, let's go and try and knock one of those. Um, I want to try and get this Cooper, uh, so it's going to destroy all the, the Goombas. And then I need to now go and try and stop the shell. That didn't go well. Let's see if I can just jump it. There we go. <laughs> that actually worked okay. And oh, oh no, I'm not allowed to have that mushroom, am I? I need to now uh, go and try and hurt myself. Let's go and see if I can get rid of these blocks first. There we go. I am now hurt, so I'm going to go and fit through the the, the hole and uh, try and get through to the uh, the next area. Um, yeah, I, I need to add in a, a fire flower, don't I? Actually, I don't think I will. I think the other uh, way I did it then it actually worked quite well. So I think I might just leave it uh, that way around. So hopefully uh, this shell is going to break its way through uh, and then I can uh, go and uh, chase through after it. I, of course, don't want to go down until it's gone. I think that should be just about it gone now. Is it going to bounce back? Nope. It's still coming. It's still coming. Let's go back down here. I think it's got about one more block to, to go. Um, right, let's go, uh, I don't know, I, I thought it should have been made its way through by now. There we go, it's dropped off the, the other end now. And now I need to make this jump to, to here. And oh look, my cloud is still up there. Okay, <laughs> I can use that to kind of just tease her. She can see it, but she just can't quite about use it. <laughs> right, now let's see if I can go and make this difficult jump. This is going to be tough, actually, because I need to time it with the, uh, the plant and the, uh, the shell. And oh no! Once that's knocked down, there's then no way uh, of being able to, to complete it. Okay, well, let's go back to the uh, the old drawing board. Let's go and maybe uh, sneak this little cloud down here. And I think I'm going to get rid of the uh, that piranha as well, because I think it's just a little bit too difficult. So then this way, if she fails, uh, she should be able uh, to use the, the cloud instead, but it's going to be a lot slower than if she uh, if she made the, the jump. And there was also another bit I didn't like down here where there's just a, a random block. So let's go and uh, get rid of, uh, of that and uh, go and put down the, the right block there. And yeah, let me just test this, uh, this ending bit again and uh, see whether it uh, works a little bit better now. So uh, let's see if I can make it by bouncing off the uh, the uh, the turtle, the Koopa. Uh, but if not, I can just go and use the uh, the cloud. And oh, no, I didn't quite make it. I could make the uh, the pipe uh, a little bit lower. And oh, there's a random spring down there, which I left there. <laughs> I can go and get rid of that as well. Let's go and uh, uh, get rid of this spring. And uh, let's go and make it so this... Um, uh, pipe is just a, a tiny bit lower and there we go. I do believe my level is complete So I'm gonna save this and send it to Squashy uh, But first I'm gonna go and I'm gonna go and play the the level that Squashy has made for me Okay, so now it's my turn to try and play Squashy's level and I think overall I was pretty nice to Squashy so hopefully Fingers crossed she returned the favor and wh what's this? Okay, Okay, bouncy fly goombas. <laughs> I really want to get whatever uh, is inside of the um the question mark blocks though. So let's see if I can take these guys out. Oh, oh you knock their wings off. I feel a little bit mean. All right, let's go and uh, grab all of these coins and keep bouncing up and down. I don't think score really matters, but there we go. And actually, I wonder if there's uh, anything hidden in these bricks. Ah, there's at least coins in them. 
It'd be good to, to get a mushroom just to get bigger. Uh, but yeah, it doesn't seem like there's any mushrooms. I'll, I'll leave the coins. I'll be there all day otherwise. And oh, there's a little smiley face. <laughs> there's a little smiley face in the uh, in the bricks down there. That's quite cool. Right, so I guess we can go up or down. Oh, oh, there's a mushroom. All right, let's go and group. Easy. There we go. <laughs> if you actually notice, the Goombas are actually the exact same shape as mushrooms. They just kind of got a, a different texture. Uh, they're like absolutely uh, identical. And oh, that wasn't very good, uh, was it? <laughs> I was too busy saying my interesting Mario facts and I ended up failing. Right, let's ignore them. They don't matter. Let's just try and get that mushroom and uh, try and go up the uh, the top way if we can. Everything's just bouncing. Everything's just bouncing around. Makes it really hard. <laughs> right, let's see if we can try and get to the mushroom. There we go. I got the mushroom. Let's get out of here. And also, you might notice the um, the clouds are also the exact same as the um, uh, as the uh, the little bushes down below as well. It's quite cool. Right, I can go along this platform and avoid all of them. Oh no, but there's a piranha plant in there. Look, it's waiting to go from it. Did a, a fireball after me. You know what? I landed right on it. It's okay though. I can go this way. And, oh, look, there's another mushroom. And there we go. I grabbed the mushroom. And oh, is this supposed to be a sword? I think it looks like a, a Minecraft sword there. That's pretty cool. <laughs> anyway, let's go and, uh, and knock this and keep on going. And oh, there's flying blocks. I don't realize you can make flying blocks. That's pretty cool. Well, let's go and try and get past all these goombas. Oh, it says duck as well. <laughs> well, let's just keep jumping along. There's certainly lots of, uh, of coins in this. And uh, let's go and uh, try and make my way to the end. Let's try and run under it. And oh, there's a, a flying plant plant there. Oh, this is the end here. Oh, look at that. That was a nice jump and I did it. I completed Squishy's level. <laughs> I think she spent a lot of time trying to make it look pretty compared to me where I was just building the uh, the level. And she also gave everything wings, which I guess makes sense seeing as it was built by a, a duck. So there we go. Now that was uh, Squishy's level. If you want to see uh, Squishy playing the, the level I made or her building this level, uh, there'll be a link in the description to her video if you want to check that out. Uh, but yeah, we're going to be going through and playing all of the uh, the different versions of Mario. So that was the, the oldest one. And then we're going to go and do all of the uh, the different ones and uh, yeah build each other some maps and i'm also going to hopefully uh, be building some maps for some other youtubers as well so stay tuned for that but for now i want to thank you all very much for watching and i will see you all later bye